but that's my opinion. Um, I mean, there's not much to go on for suspenders. They'll also have a different shade if depending on the era. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna try to make these videos 20 minutes a piece. So I think I can go again. Uh, another piece of equipment. What what should I do now? Ammo pouches. I'll do ammo pouches. not okay i've got more and i'll show you in a moment but first of all let's start with this this i do believe is vietnam era but i could be wrong uh but it's for the uh pistol m1911 i believe uh it'll hold two uh magazines and it's missing an Alice clip, but you just clip it to your belt. I don't have the holster. I don't have the uh, the stuff for the M9 pistol uh, because I don't, you know, do any impressions that would really require a pistol. I will get it over time, but not right now. This is your standard M16 pouch. These loops on the side are for grenades. Uh, drainage hole on the bottom. Alice clips. The hole for the suspenders. Let's open it. Most... Most all of my ammo pouches are undateable un un because they, they f uh, you can rarely ever see the things. Uh, I've only got like one or two that you can see it on. You see it's just a chamber, and I'll go on to that in a moment. Now this one, you can see the difference in shade. 80s and 70s, 90s and 2000s. You see the shade, it's got that special shade. Otherwise they're the exact same, and this one's actually dated. I didn't know this one was dated. Okay, then I've got about... This might be, I don't know, uh, looks like double zero, so I'm going to assume it's 2,000 dated. So, it, mm, let's see, okay, there's that, and I'll go over those lastly. Now let me grab the one website I just had, and show you something. First of all, I've got my flashlight in the holster. That was done. Uh, a lot. Um, I'll go, I'll have a section about the flashlight and talk about that because I've got a few, I've got two flashlights and there's a few accessories and I just don't want to go over that right now. I've also got a knife. We'll ignore that for the time being. It's, uh, it's a civilian knife. Uh, I was told that uh, uh, soldiers often carried a private purchase knife. That's of the era, and I just it was the only knife I had. But I'm actually going to replace it with something more correct, a uh, special uh, knife that was pretty popular, and a lot of you guys got it. Uh, I can't think of the name. Uh, but I'm going to pick one of those up, uh, and then I'll get rid of that, because that's probably not the best option. But for now. Um, but you see how you can put the flashlight in the grenade holster. Or, yeah. Now this one, on the other side, you know, nothing special. It's, uh, it's kind of a darker than that, but not, yeah, it's a darker shade, but you can still distinguish. I think it's 1988 date, this one is. See? There goes the other part. Alright. DLA. Oh, this one's 1990. Okay, I have more of them that are readable than I thought. I thought most of mine weren't readable. Maybe that's the case. But anyways... There's really not much to show you on that one. Like I said, I'll go back to that website in a second. But here's another website that is uh, interesting. Another set of ammo pouches. This is the 88 day one, I think. It's got that weird trim. Nope, not. Nope, uh, maybe. I can't see it. Um, but now what's interesting is that C on the inside there, it's got those two dividers. These hold three 30 round M16 magazines. It's kind of interesting that it has that. Well, I thought that uh, that was an early type, but apparently they mostly did. And I didn't ever notice it, but you see on this one, you see the stitching, stitching. They were cut out. And apparently uh, that happened frequently because they were annoying uh, and I actually have a, uh, an account from a soldier who said that they'd get in trouble for cutting them out a lot but they still did it um, and I, okay maybe this one's the one that's 88 day one of them I have is 88 and it's really easy to tell oh it would not be this one either oh maybe well, see this shows up on the camera on on and just seeing it normally it does not you can't hardly see anything you can see these ones were cut out as well 
Uh, and this is not a set. I don't have a single set that are like matching set. I got all of these individually. I've not bought a pair except for that set, which I'll talk about later. Um, so that's all for this. I don't want this to be in the way, so I'm going to put that over here. I'm trying to find out. Where's my one? I don't know. But anyways, I'm going to use this as my... Uh, no, I'm not going to use this one. I'm going to use... Oh, now this one, another thing I want to mention is that see how it doesn't have the lines. Sometime, uh, post, uh, sometime after the 80s, because my 1991, I believe, had them. Uh, sometime after that, uh, but up until, what is this one, 2000? They, they took them out, which is interesting. So, now let me, let me grab a few things real quick. I'm going to use the modern pouch because I do believe that uh, it holds them better. Three. I've got... They hold three 30-round magazines. These are uh, real, but they're empty, obviously. Now, uh, the grenade... I've got two grenades as well. They're both, obviously, not real. Uh, this one I picked up at the surplus store. Uh, for like five bucks. And this one's an actual military training one, practice one. And I got this for like 25, but it, uh, I probably paid too much, but I'm not sure. Uh, but it actually, if you pull it, uh, it has a spring that'll actually shoot the primer and it'll actually fly off like most of those, or at least up until my point, uh, most of those type don't have that spring. So when you pull them, you know, nothing happens. It's just like, oh, you know. But, but this one, it actually, like, you know, when I took it off, I wasn't expecting anything. And it like flew up and I was like amazed. But, um, you know, I don't take it off, uh, because I don't want the, the thing to break the, uh, I don't want to mess with it. Um, and also there's a possibility you could lose a part if it like flies all over the place. But, um, now let me put the magazines in there and then I like, put the grenades in there just to show you what it looks like fully set up. I'll put the, uh, magazines in first. Now, another thing that I want to show you. So let me put them in and I'll show you. See there? You face them like this. With the curve towards your body, not away from it. You want it like this. Put them in like that. Now also, in this I've been told by veterans. Let me real quick. You'll have uh, the ones that have magazines. Or I mean that have uh, rounds in them upside down that way um you know they won't get stuff in them and if they uh uh what was the other thing i don't remember uh, there was another reason as well but then also then the ones that are empty you put them up and that way you can feel and you'll be like okay this one's empty these ones still have rounds in them and that's what you do uh now let me put the grenades in There's one. Let me put in the other one real quick. Here. We're on 20 minutes, so after this, I'm going to end the video and do a part three. Uh, almost got it. Okay. So there's that. Got your two grenades and what you do is you put the thing around them and it's supposed to go through the loop and as far as I'm aware you're supposed to have the spoon face inward so it's uh you know there and the idea is that if uh like foliage catches your tag it's not gonna like pull it and then uh you know but same thing and I don't believe these will hold pineapples or lemons but I do it does hold baseballs that's what it uh baseball grenades that's what it was designed for obviously but yeah, it's the exact. I use my uh, modern one because it. Uh, this one, the grenades don't fit in the pockets. I don't know what's up with that. Maybe they shrunk. I have. I have not a clue. They will not fit. I've tried to put them in. They don't fit. They're too. The pockets are too tight. So that's why I use the modern one. That's the only pouch I've ever run into that won't hold the grenades. The uh, my other pouches will. Um, and I lied. This video is not going to end. Uh, one more thing I want to show you. You see how these have the clips? These have snaps. 
and you can see where they took the clips out. But otherwise, these are legitimate. They're also missing clips, but that's not a big deal. The Alice clips. Uh, and they've also got price tags. I picked these up at the surplus store. They interested me. Normally, I wouldn't have thought about them, but I remember, I think it was Dominic, but I could be wrong, who told me that uh, Air Force a lot of times did that. Uh, so they'd put snaps, or not Air Force, um, where are they? National Guard? Some some, some kind of uh, unit. Not 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 like Special Forces or anything, but some kind of different unit, regular than like, re other than like regular Army. Uh, they'd do that. And I figured, you know, they were, they were $3 a piece, so I figured I'd go ahead, but they're in really bad sh uh, like, all messed up, but they still have those in there as well. I don't know. I can't date them, but I, I went ahead and got them. I mean, I paid six dollars for the two. You can't go wrong. I mean, they're interesting, but I don't know anything about them, uh, and I probably won't use them in any impression. But it's just kind of neat to have. I have no idea anything about them though. If you have information, feel free to tell me. But yeah, this is going to end this. I covered uh, belt suspenders and uh, ammo pouches. I'm gonna end this video, and I'll probably do a third one, and then I might stop for the night because uh, I didn't expect this to take this long. But also, if you have any questions, ask me in the comments, um, and I'll try to answer as best as possible. So uh, remember to subscribe, comment, and uh, like the video. Um, I mean, you know, that's pretty much it. Bye.